problem is I don't have a dedicated drift car. And I've already spent quite a bit of money and time making this car a grip car. I mean, this thing, I mean, it grips like a cat on a rug, right? And that took a lot of time and energy. And a good drift car is ideally rear wheel drive, manual, and lightweight. While this car is rear wheel drive, but it's automatic and immensely heavy. So I'm here at River City Drift in San Antonio for two things. First, to learn how a general drift day goes, and two, learn more about different cars to see what kind of car I want to get into. Later. All right, so I did learn quite a lot today. One of the things that I learned is that when you come out here, you need ice and water. But let's get back to the house because I need to start researching what car I want to buy. Because like I said in the beginning of this video, I want to do this. So let's get going. All right guys, there she is, my new to me 2007 Mustang GT Premium. And I'll be the first to tell you that she's kind of a 50-50, like 50 feet away going 50 miles an hour. She looks beautiful. But once you get up close, you can see that she needs just a little bit of work for her to look good. But the primary reason that we have this car is not for it to look good or be a show car, it's to go drifting. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on, let's say, an S550, and I didn't want to spend very little money on an older Fox body or SN95 because of reasons. And the reason why I chose a three-valve uh, 05 through 09 body style is simply this. It is my favorite body style Mustang. No other reason. All the other body styles have plenty of aftermarket support, just like this body style does. So when it came down to it, this one kind of fell right in the middle of the price point of what I was looking to spend. And I'll be upfront, I spent 5,500 bucks for this 07 GT with 202,000 miles. Now she's purrs, she's quiet. All she has is a set of Flowmaster mufflers and everything else is bone stock, except the radio. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit closer to the ugly details, but for the most part, what I paid, she's a great car. Now, immediately after I filmed the B-roll sequence of the car, this front lower grille fell off. Like, I, it literally just fell off. There's no other way to explain it. And then upon closer inspection, the front lower bumper, it looks like it's hit something. It's split right down the middle right here. They tried to plastic weld it, and it was a little unsuccessful. This license plate is looking a little crazy. But that's one of the things is the front bumper, as you can kind of tell, the headlights need to be replaced. This one looks like it was already replaced. It looks pretty decent. The fog lights actually have halos in them. The fog lights have halos in them. I just noticed this. Um, and those are pretty fogged up and shot too. They don't look good at all. And then the driver's side headlight is completely cataract out. That thing cannot see. And I haven't driven this car at night, but again, it's all cosmetics. All right, right here is kind of my favorite area. The rear bumper is kind of coming out a little bit, nothing too crazy. Uh, it's got a couple of little dings here, and that's really the biggest damage the vehicle has. And other than that, the paint is pretty solid. Now, I found a little surprise when I opened up the trunk for the first time, and I thought it was pretty hilarious. Let me show you. Now back here, is a whole ass sound system. <laughs> it's a giant box with like 212 inch subwoofers. And the only way to get it out is through the back seat because I already tried pulling it out of the trunk and it just doesn't work. The other downfall of that is they're not even plugged in, so I can't even roll around and bump the base if I wanted to. The other bonus thing back there is a toolbox full of tools and a $1 bill. All right, on the inside, we do have power, driver's seat, manual, passenger seat. Again, it doesn't matter. I'm about to rip all this stuff out anyways. It is a manual, five-speed, 
gearbox. The clutch needs just a little bit of adjustment, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and just rip that sucker out too and put something with a little more bite because this one's just kind of, um, it ain't it. It's just kind of soft and I prefer a stiffer clutch. In fact, the clutch on the CJ7 is much stiffer. So, so far we got the important bits. Rear wheel drive, manual, and under the hood, we got a V8. So let's check it out. If I could open it, we could. Here we go, Brian. Check it out. The 4.6 liter V8. It's not much to write home about, but it is a V8. So it's super torquey and it's got plenty of power. As you can see, it still has the stock intake and I'm willing to bet you it still has the stock spark plugs in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out the spark plugs. I'm gonna do a timing set on it at 202,000 miles with those cam phasers, a new alternator, a new radiator, and a new water pump. I think that's everything. Even the hood insulation is falling apart on me over there. And this thing hasn't seen a bath probably since 2007, if I can be frank and honest here. So we got our work cut out for us, but nothing too crazy. No crazy oil leaks, just the valve cover that I can see right now. So that'll be, should be an easy fix. Um, and that'll be some, some of the mods that we do before we start actually ripping on her. So in a nutshell, that's the Mustang GT. And it is really hot and really bright here in Texas. Let me get this color right here. It might be a little washed out. But guys, in a nutshell, that's the Mustang GT. This is the new project car. It's not perfect by any means. It's got some age on her, but I think she's going to be a really good addition to the fleet. Get us drifting, get us doing some really cool stuff. We got a long ways to go. We got some work we got to knock out on this thing before I feel comfortable taking it out on track. Hopefully we do that sooner than later. But again, it's a good base and I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you so much for joining me on this new journey from building a drag car, being a Dodge Challenger, to an autocross car, to a road racing car. Now we're taking yet another American muscle icon and building it into a drift car. It's already been done, but I haven't done it. And that's what we're gonna do. It's one of my favorite body style Mustangs. I'm super excited about this project. Just not excited about spending the money or working on it, but I'm super excited to see what I can build and take you guys along for the journey. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Don't forget, if you like the videos, hit the like button, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the new Drift Mustang. And don't forget to subscribe. So next time guys, peace out. Gotta get my keys. Gotta get the keys. Here's a bad boy. Purr. I don't know if I mentioned this. She does have AC, fellas.